Embattled Dominic Raab yesterday faced down furious demands for him to quit over his handling of the Afghanistan crisis while on a luxury holiday. The Foreign Secretary is under attack for not calling his Afghan counterpart for help to rescue interpreters who had worked for the British military as the Taliban advanced on capital Kabul. Asked yesterday if he was going to resign, Mr Raab gave a one-word answer to reporters in Downing Street, no. The minister was reportedly unavailable during his family break in Crete when officials in his department suggested he phone Hanif Atmar urgently. The Afghan foreign ministry then refused to arrange a call with junior minister Zach Goldsmith, pushing it back to the next day. Mr Raab, 47, was also condemned for not returning from holiday sooner as Afghanistan descended into chaos. He landed back in the UK on Monday, the day after Kabul fell to the Taliban. Labour, the SNP, Liberal Democrats and Plaid Cymru said he failed to perform his basic duties and was no longer fit to represent the country. They say he should either quit or be sacked by PM Boris Johnson. Yesterday Mr Raab's apparent inaction was also condemned by Rafi, 35, a former translator and a British citizen. He said, if he didnt make the call, I'm shocked. How could somebody do something like that in this chaotic situation? The interpreters and their families could be killed at any time. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer said, who wouldn't make a phone call if they were told it could save somebody's life? Shadow Foreign Secretary Lisa Nandy accused Mr Raab of yet another catastrophic failure of judgment. She said, if Dominic Raab doesn't have the decency to resign, the Prime Minister must show a shred of leadership and sack him. Ms Nandy's views were echoed by Liberal Democrat Foreign Affairs spokeswoman Leila Moran, who said, Dominic Raab must resign today. Right now, there are interpreters across Afghanistan who are surrounded by the Taliban and fearing the worst. All the foreign secretary had to do was leave the beach and pick up the phone. He did not. He has shamed Britain and is no longer fit to represent our country. Mr. Raab, who was said to be staying at the exclusive Amaranth Hotel on the Greek island, insisted that while he was away he had been directing his team and engaging with international partners. The five-star venue describes itself as a boutique resort which is styled after the sprawling palaces of the Minoan kings and Venetian nobles who once ruled Crete and offers the easy elegance of true European luxury. With a meeting of G7 leaders penciled in for next week, Mr Raab spent yesterday afternoon talking to his opposite numbers in the group to discuss the Afghan crisis and international cooperation. Since his return to London he has been spearheading a diplomatic blitz to encourage allies to match the UK's commitment to take in Afghan refugees.